And again, there is the second type of testing process, which is called as the limit test for the impurities. Testing for impurities, not the quantitation, but you will only confirm whether the result is within the spec or out of the spec. Now, what are the example of uh, this particular uh, uh, test, type test? Most of the times by TLC, you might have seen that the people only confirm whether the certain amount of impurities within the spec or out of the spec. You will never be able to quantify that with the given testing procedure, right? But you are only able to maybe determining the, the content based on to the, the size of the spot. And uh, based on to that, you will only confirm whether the sample is having the impurity below its specification or above its specification. That is called as the limit test. I hope you first understand what is the, 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 the limit test is all about. And then we will talk about if you really want to validate this testing procedure, now which parameter you are going to consider. Let us pick uh, the first one is precision, the way we picked up during the identification also. And as we very clear now, during the precision, the quantitation is required, the quantification is required. Yes or no? You have to quantify something to, to understand the, the spreading of this result, right? But tell me in the chat box, are you quantifying something into the limit test now? Are you quantifying something into a limit test now? Try to understand that in the limit test, when I say limit test, you are only going to confirm within limit or out of the limit. If it is a 10 ppm, you are not able to report it is uh, 9 ppm or 8 ppm. You will only say below 10 ppm. Or you will be able to only say above 10 ppm. But this below 10 ppm term is not the quantitation. It's just a qualitative term. Yeah. Do you understand that what I'm talking all about? The quantitation is not done in the limit testing. You cannot quantify the result. Just by measuring the spot size, one cannot check the quantitation, but you can only compare the spot with maybe your reference GLC plate and then try to understand whether the sample containing low amount of impurity or the more amount of impurity. So if the quantitation is not possible, do you think that the pre precision is going to be a reality during the TLC, the TLC for impurity? I'm just giving one example over here. Type yes or no in the chat box. If there is no quantitation possible, how I am going to understand the results are the results spread? How I am going to understand the percent RSD now? Type yes or no in the chat box. I'm asking you, you know, and it's very important for you to understand this concept. Because this kind of information may not be available into the guidelines. Yes and yes or no. And most of the times, such are the questions asked during the interview. People may ask this question to you. It is not only understanding which parameters needs to be performed, but if you really want to have the deeper understanding, you have to understand why the remaining parameters are not possible or why remaining parameters are not performed. How many of you want to understand this particular concept at a very root level from very fundamental level? I'm not going to give only the pointers to you. Look at it. These are the three parameters need to be performed and you can go ahead. No, that is not the purpose of this session. Please understand that as I said at the beginning, I'm trying to explain the very fundamentals. I'm trying to make you very clear onto the ground realities so that you will not have any hesitation, any difficulties, confusion during the exact implementation part. Right? So as we said that for precision, the quantitation is required, but in limit test, do you perform the quantitation? Absolutely, there is going to be no quantitation. You will not report for 10 ppm impurity limit, oh, my result is 8 ppm or 12 ppm. You're just going to say is below 10 ppm or above 10 ppm. Again, it is going to be very difficult for you to understand the spread of the result. You are not able to calculate the standard deviation or the percent RST. And hence, because of that limitations, the limit test may not have the precision as a validation parameter. How many of you 
understand this point type u in the chat box if you now understand how i say the precision may not be possible during the validation of the limit test like uh, tlc testing procedure like for the tlc testing procedure let us now go with the second important parameter and that is the accuracy the second important parameter is what the accuracy see how the accuracy can be done the accuracy can be done with the percent recovery experiment means the spiking the actual impurity into a standard and then understanding how much is the impurity found onto the tlc plate so you have a 10 ppm limit for example right navin you have a 10 ppm impurity limit and you have spiked 10 ppm impurity onto the tlc plate along with a placebo and now navin is running the tlc plate so navin know one value navin knows the true value or which is called as the the value added during the experiment but to calculate the percent recovery navin also want to have the amount found right because along with your only person to identify the percent recovery you need to have two important values the amount added and amount found amount added is known by navin it is a 10 ppm but will the navin able to find the the amount of the impurity again the same question the spot size comparison is done only in the intention of below 10 ppm or above 10 ppm and hence the exact value will not be known to the navi so if there is no possibility of amount found then how navin can able to quantify this percent recovery is it possible type yes or no into the chat box will the navin able to calculate this percent recovery for the tlc method he has spiked 10 ppm he knows the added value but he is unable to quantify the amount found or amount found value and hence because of that can i conclude now the percent recovery or accuracy or the trueness of the testing procedure at least for the limit test is not going to be a possibility type yes or no in the chat box hmm? type yes no in the chat box is it possible type yes in the chat box so if you think oh accuracy is also not possible please type no into chat box so by the design of the testing procedure now we rolled out two very critical parameters for the limit testing also the first one was we said precision is not possible the second one we said the accuracy is not possible let us now try to understand the possibility of a linearity possibility of a linearity is do you think that the linearity is going to be possible or not possible now how the linearity can be drawn the the concentration versus the response what is the linearity you are going to draw the concentration versus the response how your response is changing with the concentration so with the small concentration i will say i get the small dot spot for the bigger concentration i am getting the bigger spot for much bigger concentration i am getting much bigger spot oh my god i am able to draw the now <laughs> the linearity the point here is am i quantifying am i taking the size of the spot into consideration now this is a spot of 1 mm diameter that is a spot of uh, 10 mm diameter am i doing that as a part of actual testing i am asking you i am asking you in reality do you go and take a stick and do the size of the spot okay it is 1.1 mm oh this is 1.2 mm you never do that right and because of that you you know the uh, the concentration applied onto the tlc plate but unfortunately again the response cannot be measured again the response cannot be measured so in case if you do not have the response will you be able to spot a linear curve linear line will you be able to draw a linearity type yes or no into chart box you have the concentrations beautifully drawn 1 ppm to 2 ppm to 3 4 5 10 but unfortunately you do not have the measurable response out of the testing procedure you are not able to identify the response and hence what is the status of the linearity now will you be able to draw a linearity 
type yes or no into chat box. I'm talking in the context of the limit test. Hmm? Type yes or no into the chat box. And again, the same response, right? Inability to identify the response. Hence, linearity is also out of the equation. Let us now understand the, the possibility of limit of quantitation. Let us now understand the possibility of limit of quantitation. So what do we do as a limit of quantitation? You identify the concentration, which is having the adequate precision and the accuracy, which can be measured with the adequate precision and the accuracy. So at the very two points, I said that the precision is not possible. The accuracy is not possible. Do you think that the LOQ is also going to be not possibility? I'm asking you, is it possible to conduct LOQ during the limit test type yes or no in the chat box? Hmm? Is it possible to evaluate the limit of quantitation for the limit testing? That is the question to you. Hmm? <laughs> so it is again not going to be a possibility because LOQ comes with the precision. And again, we said at the very first point, precision is not a possibility, right? So if you say LOQ is possible, then again, you are contradicting your first two important statements. So again, look at here now, the LOQ is also not going to be a possibility because we are not able to evaluate the accuracy and the precision. I hope you are clear until this point. Please type C for clear into chat box. I'm trying to explain very layer by layer. Maybe I'm a little slow today, but my intention is what you have to understand the logic behind these decisions. It is not only what is written into the guideline, but what is the reason that the guideline is not proposing some parameters has to be understood very well. How many of you are finding the, the discussion truly valuable type B for value into chat box? Do you value this discussion? Please type B for value into chat box. I'm trying to bring that experience, whatever I little have about the validation so that the people who are attending the session today get some valuable information and insights. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your response. So let us try to understand the possibility of a limit of detection now. Let us try to understand the possibility of limit of detection as a validation parameter for the, the limit test like TLC. Just imagine you are drawing a TLC. So as I said earlier, we have a limit of 10 ppm. What is the limit of 10 ppm now? So, sorry, the limit of the impurity is the 10 ppm. And you want to understand, if I draw a TLC, let us say with uh, 1 ppm concentration, do I get the spot noticed? You say, no, it is not possible. I run it and it is not been seen visually. Then you again run the TLC plate with 2 ppm. Again, you could not see the spot over there. Again, you develop the TLC plate with 3 ppm impurity A, and then you can see, oh, now I can see the spot on the TLC for the 3 ppm. Now I'm asking you, are you able to detect the response of the impurity A on the TLC? I'm asking you. Are you able to detect the response? Type yes or no in the chat box. I'm, I'm not asking about the quantification. Please understand that I'm only asking you, are you able to detect the response with respect to concentration? You said 1 ppm is not detected. You said 2 ppm is not detected. You said, oh, 3 ppm, I detected it. I'm asking you, what is the limit of detection for this particular method? Please type into chat box. Hmm? What is the, the limit of detection for this particular method or experiment? Is it a 1 ppm, 2 ppm? R3 ppm, please type in the chat box. Wow, great. So you got the LOD value now. So my question to you back again, will you be able to at least perform the limit of detection parameter for the limit test like TLC? How many of you think it is possible type yes in the chat box? How many of you think no, it is not possible type no in the chat box? Right? So wow, great. So most of you have said yes, possible. Yes, yes, possible. And that's what at least we've got one parameter that is limit of detection, right? For limit of detection for the, the limit test. Let us now understand the possibility of performing the specificity. 
What is the specificity means? There is no interference to this particular spot out of my sample matrix. So there is a placebo available, placebo in my hand. Will I be able to understand the interference from the sample matrix? Type yes or no in the chat box. Hmm? I will just take the sample matrix, absence of impurity. Will I be able to understand whether there is a spot still coming out of the sample matrix? Type yes or no in the chat box. I'm asking you, can I able to conduct the selectivity or specificity for the limit test? How many of you think it is possible? I run the TLC plate. I dissolve or I take the sample matrix like placebo. And, and then I run this test TLC plate just like my sample. Now what is expected or result over here? I'm expecting that there should not be any spot at the same retardation factor. What do you call that? Retardation factor for TLC. Hmm. And then I understand that, oh, yes, great. Now there is no interference coming out of the sample matrix. So we got the second parameter now. We got the second parameter, and that is the specificity or selectivity is also possible in case of the, the, the limit test parameter. How many of you are with me so far? Please type WM with, if you are with me so far. Hmm? Are you with me? Type WM into chat box. So now let us understand that we talked about there is no necessary possibility of the precision accuracy linearity. And uh, if you look at the guidelines, ICS, USP, and VISA, they also talked about these two parameters as a part of your limit test validation. The first one is specificity, and the second one is called as the detection limit. Now, this is the bare minimum requirement. You are expected to conduct the validation, at least with these two parameters. But beyond that, let us try to understand and the way I explained you with the help of identification test that the precision is possible. Let us now try to correlate the situation. Can I able to perform the precision study for the limit test? And how this is possible? If I really want to perform the precision, I understand that the precision is not recommended by any of the regulators. But as I said in the first uh, discussion about identification to get the experience to the analyst, the first hand experience to the analyst on the method performance. We have just made the six measurement. Can I get some value, some input as a confidence? I'm asking you. If I consider measurement of the six samples during this limit test, I may not be able to quantify the result and calculate the RSD. I completely understand that. But what I can do extra is that, okay, now these are the six plates I have prepared myself. And I now know how this testing procedure is functioning and performing. The requirement can be as per the specification and there is no necessity to calculate the standard deviation or the percent RST. Can I put that the, the, the acceptance criteria just like the, the sample must be uh, complying to the specification, shall be less than 10 ppm. And if I found that all the results are less than 10 ppm, I can say, great, I got the passing result. My specification is meeting. And I also got an additional experience of running this TLC plate practically. On top of that, you can also think of conducting the, the retardation factor. That is an additional information if you really want to capture. So you will have the ratio of this uh, uh, the solvent front versus solute front, how it calculated. And you will get the six values for this retardation factor. Right? And then you can think about, okay, let me also try if uh, Akshay does that. Does Akshay get a similar kind of uh, result? Just like, uh, let us say, Ravindra has got now. And then this becomes the intermediate precision. So I will also consider the precision study for the limit testing also. In addition to the specificity, detection limit, it is always good to consider the precision study for the limit test. 